What's up, everybody? High Speed Bottle and Corey coming to you. Is that a koozie I see, Craig, or is that a sticker? No, that's a sticker. That is that is an OG sticker. And, yeah, as my camera doesn't refocus here. Hi, everybody. I'm still here. It's just blurred up for some reason. Is it going to refocus? I what don't know. From? There we go. I, wait. No. Get close it's... and then get far. Get I don't close. know what's going on here. Is that your computer camera? No, this is this is aftermarket. Oh no, you can't be blurry the whole show. Oh, 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 there we go. I'm back. Look at me. Hi, I'm in focus. It, it probably we are was clear. better when I was blurred up. <laughs> oh my gosh. So listen, we are broadcasting live on the High Speed Daddy Facebook page. If you don't know what it is, then you're probably not watching, and that's okay. Listen, we are here to help men provide, protect, and connect, just like you saw in our fancy music opening. And uh, Craig is the founder of High Speed Daddy. Craig, just real quick, why the heck did you start this thing? Uh, to help men provide, protect, and connect. Uh, no, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. Um, I started High Speed Daddy on a completely selfish mission, which was so that I could run a business while I stayed home with my kids. What I quickly found out before I even launched the business itself was that um, men needed help in a lot of areas of life. Um, and I was one of those men that needed help. Uh, it's primarily in fatherhood and just not knowing what the hell I was doing. Yeah. Um, but then it quickly translated into uh, going a little bit deeper and realizing that men suffer from a lot of things of anxiety, depression, work-life balance, family, um, spousal issues, things along those lines. And I quickly realized that you know I could help these men with going and learning certain things and modalities to help guys get through certain struggles that they were doing. But at the same time, create some cool product and gear for new dads, yes. you know, and and launch it out there to a, a communities that of like minded guys that like the same stuff I did, which was into, um, you know, my military and veteran background and the law enforcement and first responders and military aesthetic looking gear, preppers, hunters, hikers, etc. Uh, and that just threw all that into a big pot. And now four years later, we've got an awesome brand with High Speed Daddy. I love it. And I just wanted to just take a second because I don't think I've ever asked you that mm -hmm. on this show. And so, you know, this is, this show is not about us. It's about you, but mm -hmm. at the, at you being the viewer that is watching right now. Okay. Uh, people like Mark who just said, hi boys. Right. I showed him what's up, Mark. So, um, you know, it's about you. And so, uh, we want to, we want to bring it back to you right now. Um, and today we're talking about gratitude and being thankful. Okay. So what does that mean? Um, you know, it, we just had a holiday. Uh, you know, if you're watching this, we just had Thanksgiving not too long ago. And I think that uh, it was a Thanksgiving unlike any other. Uh, it was a Thanksgiving at home. It was a Thanksgiving socially distant, um, whatever you want to call it. But I had a, a great time. I mean, for mm -hmm. I, if it's okay, Craig, I'm going to just share like kind of what I did and what I'm grateful yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, okay? absolutely. So, you know, guys, we have uh, we have a live-in uh, nanny. We have an au pair that lives with us. And she is a exchange student. Uh, from France. And she's really great. Um, and she moved to the US because she wanted to feel like she was part of a family. And um, it's pretty cool because she's she's had a, a rough past, like just a rough past. And so um, she moved to the US to do that. And uh, we showed her what an American Thanksgiving is all about. And so uh, I set the table like super fancy. I have these like crystal um, what do you call it? Candle holders. Like I had those and like, I, I had a really nice tablecloth and like this fine China, right? Like we had fine China that we got from our wedding, my wife and I's wedding. That 15, you probably haven't used in 14 years, right? 15 years ago. <laughs> it's like, dude. So we pulled it all out. We set the table. I had the spoon up at the top and then the fork on the left and this and the knife on the right. My kids were like, Daddy, I need a spoon. I need a spoon. I'm like, guys, look up uh, on top of that plate there. They're just like, why is it up there? <laughs> so it was really crazy. But I think that it was so beautiful and so nice. We were just sitting together as our little family. And she had her boyfriend over. Her boyfriend came over and it's cool. And, um, you know, it just felt really, really special. And I, I think that I was thankful for that. But I also just like even backing up and I was talking to Craig about this before the show. How about I'm just thankful for the fact that I have a live in nanny. Like, are you kidding me? Like, let's just take a second. Like I am so lucky to be able to have found a student that wants to come over here, uh, that, you know, I'm able to open up my house to in exchange for a little bit of extra 
sanity, a little bit of extra time to go on a date with my wife. We have date night every Thursday. Like what? That never happened before we had a nanny. It would be $160 to a babysitter. Like we're so lucky. And so I, I talk about perspective a lot. You know, I'm just so lucky to have what I have. I'm, and and it's, it gets basic, right? I'm lucky to have this sweater that I have on right now, right? Mm -hmm. I'm lucky to have these awesome blue glasses. I'm lucky that like, you know, you know, I shaved my head recently, like in the last nine months or something. Right. And like, I was like really sad about it. like, oh man, I'm going to, I'm losing my hair. I got to shave my head and all this other stuff. Right. Oh, woe is me. How about the fact that if I wanted to grow a little bit of hair back, I could do that. Some people don't have that ability. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and I'm not because they're sick or because it's mm -hmm. completely gone or whatever it might be. So for me, it's constant perspective mm -hmm. of how lucky I am to just do some of the basic things in life. And I think that there's, it's not so much a comparison as it is continuing to be thankful and grateful. So I'll, I'll throw it to you, Craig. Where, where's, where's my headset? Little, my, little mic, mic drop. There we go. We're done. <laughs> hey, We're done. I've never gotten a Corey, mic drop from you. That, Corey, that's Corey hit all the wickets. He hit that's all the wickets on there. Um, being grateful. This is something as Corey was mentioning, you know, yeah, we just came out of Thanksgiving. Uh, it's very important, obviously, you know, Thanksgiving is the act of being thankful, right? Um, yeah. But being being grateful is something you need to practice every day. It's something you should be practicing every day, uh, yeah. multiple times a day, morning, night. And that's that's part of a journaling process that, that I'm part of that's, you know, that's statistically based to put people in great moods, uh, should be done in the morning and at night. First thing you do when you wake up morning, what are three things you're thankful for? What are three things you're thankful for right before you go to sleep at night, putting yourself in a positive mindset, things like that. What it does is it takes you out of your own head. It makes you think about others and not yourself. When you're having right. an issue and, and and strife in your life and stuff like that, you're thinking about yourself too much. Um, you, don't, you may not realize it, but that's what's going on underneath. Subconsciously, yeah. you're thinking about yourself too much, your own problems, and you're not keeping things, like Corey said, in perspective. Um, and... and you know, we, we shouldn't play that comparison game, but you know, there's so many other people out in the world that have it worse off than you. Even if you have the worst of situations that you believe you have a really, really tough life going on right now, I guarantee hundred percent someone else out there has it worse than you. All right. And that's not to be like, Oh, well, you know, whatever that that's actually something to, to build off of. Right. Yeah. It, it's, it's so important to, to just be grateful for the littlest of things you have as Corey was saying, your glasses, whatever, you know, if you're watching this, you have a version of internet, whether it's a cell it's coming in through the cell towers or whether it's Wi-Fi, which means that you have a cell phone, which means that you have a computer, which means that you probably live in a house, right? Or an apartment or a condo or something along those lines. Or maybe you're just going to Starbucks to get free, free internet or something like that. But you have some version of technology. Imagine all the people in the world, and let alone the world, in our country, in your own state, that don't even have that privilege because they're trying to figure out what food they're going to eat today, what food yeah. they're going to have tonight, where, how are they going to stay warm tonight? Right? So, you know, it's just being grateful for all the little comforts that you have heat, food over your head, shelter, the basic necessities. Cause there's a lot of people that don't have the basic necessities. Right. Yeah. And these are things that you could just, we can say, I'm very thankful. Now people can take this and, and, and parlay it into versions of prayer and, you know, um, your church and things like that, uh, that, that you go through, but just, just the very small acts of being grateful for things day in and day out will put you in a better mindset, which will ultimately make you a better version of yourself and what we're here at high speed daddy to teach you about. Yeah. I love it. Man. I, uh, I honestly, you know, it, one one thing, the the last thing I can think of is just our our health. To be so mm -hmm. so thankful for our health, uh, because it's really, it's really all you got sometimes, you know. Um, and uh, with so many things going on right now in the world, it's it's a it's a good place to be, uh, being so thankful for your health. And so, you know, I guess let's let's turn the question, you know, back to you guys that are watching right mm -hmm. now. Are you, are you doing everything you can to be uh, as as grateful as you can every single day? Are you doing everything you can to take care of yourself and your health every single day and the things that you do cherish? Are you being uh, the best dad you can be? I, uh -huh. I'll, I'll share a quick one with you guys, man. You guys know my little guy, uh, my my middle child who's nine years old struggles with ADHD 
and focus and ODD. And, um, you know, he, uh, was doing school at home with mommy for four hours while I was in my office working. And that's cool. I mean, our au pair that I just talked about, like she was with our youngest child because all of our kids are homeschooled right now, just with everything going on. It's just kind of a decision we made because my wife's immunocompromised, et cetera, et cetera. But, um, you know, four hours with, uh, with, uh, with a kid that is, uh, oppositional, uh, and, and more defiant than a normal child, um, was, was a lot. And so I asked myself, Hey, what, what can I do? Right. And I'm not like telling this story to be like, look at what a great guy I am. Right. It's not that it is, uh, it, it, it stinks. Uh, I wake up at about 5.00 AM every day. Right. And I do that so I can have some some time with myself. Sometimes I'll answer, you know, questions. Sometimes I'll answer emails. Sometimes I'll read a book. Sometimes I'll listen to a podcast. Listen to Freakonomics Radio today. I love that podcast. Um, but you know, the biggest thing for me is is I decided that for two of the four hours I was gonna I was gonna teach him school. So my day starts at nine thirty uh, at my desk, and um, my work day I should say, and from seven to nine I'm teaching my dude. Uh, I'm teaching him. We did science today. We do language arts, you know, and sometimes it's a struggle, but I will tell you that the overall happiness level of my entire household has gone up <laughs> significantly <laughs> because I'm, I decided to, to, to man up, step in and just say, Hey, how can I help? You know, what can I do? And, um, again, going back to being grateful. Like, I think that, uh, I'm grateful for the fact that my kids had the option to, you know, uh, learn from home, uh, especially during these crazy times. And, uh, you know, each kid has a little device. I mean, oh my God, are you kidding me? We're so lucky. We got the cheapest devices that they could use because they're going to drop them and break them and step all over them. But, you know. Um, but just coming out of that story, I know that it's not just you. I mean, I know your wife is probably super grateful for you stepping in for two of those four hours, right? You know, and sharing the responsibility there. Um, my wife literally just went back to work. You know, she was on a three month leave from teaching that she was yeah. offered. And I'm super grateful that she got that leave and helped us transition into our new house here and stuff like that. Um, but she just went back, you know, I'm super grateful that we have someone that can watch our littlest one while our older two are at school. Cause we actually send our, our older two to school and we, we're very fortunate that we can do that. And yeah. then I can work on a business. We can come up with a plan. We can develop other ways that we could help you guys out there. Um, part of our community and stuff like that. And, and speaking, speaking of that and being grateful, do us a favor in the comments below list. One thing that you guys are grateful for. If you've made it this far, 13 minutes into the live here today, uh, or if you're watching this after the fact, just leave one, one thing in the comments that you guys are grateful for. And then we'll respond back and, and, and give you kudos on that. So, yeah, but I, I am, uh, I'm putting that in there. I'm going to, Put that out there, and we uh, we are uh, we did I did share this while we were talking. I shared it to our uh, our men's group, uh, which is called High Speed Daddy Provide Protect Connect. It's a private Facebook group for men, dads, grandpas, uncles. You know, and we've got we've got all those people in there. Yeah. We've got grandpas in there that are sharing life experience with us, young dudes. Um, you like that? I said young dudes, and we're like young. almost middle age. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Hey, I am I am almost forty. I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm well, yeah, we got grandpas, we've got uncles, we've got just just guys going through issues, guys that are telling us wins and great things, dads, new dads, old dads. We got all sorts of guys in there. Um, over at High Speed Daddy Provide Protect Connect uh, Facebook group. Go check us out there. Uh, if you want to know more information, give me give me a text or uh, send me a message. Yeah, and, 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 and we'll uh, we'll get you all squared away. Yeah, Craig Craig is actually the one that checks his own Instagram inbox. So we got to yeah. yeah, I moderated. Him, we get to find him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways. All right, folks. Well, listen, um, hopefully yeah, we're grateful for you. We are thankful for you for tuning in, uh, for being here, for letting us know what you're thankful for, of course, in the comments, even if you're watching on the replay. And then uh, we'll be here every Wednesday. Every Wednesday at 430, we're here. If you have any questions, any topics you want to hear us talk about or, or chat about or share, uh, we're just normal dads, just trying to make it every single day. And this new adjustment is, you know, waking up, you know, or, or I guess waking waking my boy up at 6.45. Like, dude is a homeschooler. He was ready to sleep until 8.30 every day. I'm like, mm -hmm. nope. So we wake up and I'm so proud of him because he wakes up and he's like, let's go, let's go, daddy, you know. And then, you know, we might have a couple arguments, a couple of times with butt heads or whatever. But man, it, you know, it we, we make it through. Yeah, it happens. And, and and last and final thing because we we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to do this without without some help from you guys that are hitting the website. Thank you everyone that that took part of our Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. And uh, FYI, 
Um, shh, don't tell everyone, aka yes, please tell everyone. We have a few of our awesome Black Friday Cyber Monday bundles left. Uh, just hit up our homepage, www.highspeeddaddy.com. You'll see it right on the homepage, the ultimate bundle. We do have some colors um, that are left in that package. Go check it out. Ultimate low price, ultimate dad bundle, ultimately awesome, ultimate, ultimate. Ultimate Corey, Ultimate Craig, <laughs> Ultimate Warrior, whatever. <laughs> it is. Ultimately it's badass great. bags. It's uh, a great go go check go check that stuff out. And please do your shopping real quick. If you're sitting on it for the next two weeks, you will not get stuff by Christmas. We've been talking around with all our carriers, UPS, FedEx, DHL, USPS. Yep. They're not going to be able to guarantee. Amazon is saying they're not going to be able to guarantee shipping after like December 7th or something like that. Prime is not going to be one two-day prime. It's going to be like seven to ten day prime. All right. They're already starting to get backlogged. Everyone, please, whether you buy from us or not, or just in general, your Christmas shopping, go do it now. Yeah. That that's all I got to say. Good job. PSA right, for, for the day. We will see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. We're here every Wednesday. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, people.